Hello everyone, Moran McKay here, and welcome to another Star Trek uh, walkthrough. Today we're doing Kittimer in Stasis Ground, STF. Alright, this is my team. Say hello everyone. Hello, I'm Neil. Hello. Everyone. <laughs> Say hello. Okay, they're shy. Hello everyone. I told you to show up before, Hollow. Now say something. <laughs> Alright. So. The. Oh shit. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the STF timer will start once you walk through these doors, and after that, you'll have 15 minutes to clear a certain number of Borg. I think it's about a quarter of the Borg before the next shield will go down. So we're going to start that now. Alright, guys. Let's do this. And that's not the right button. There we go. Now you can go to the left or to the right here, it doesn't matter which direction you walk in. And guys, you don't have to be completely silent here while we're recording. One thing I do want to point out in case you don't know, this next room doesn't matter, you don't have to clear this one. Yeah. So just run through this next room, everyone. I love that trait. Walk by all the boards, they just go down oh. like bowling pins. What were you using? It's a uh, wrecking ball. By the way, for all the um, the the gun I'm using, the TR was it TR one one six? Yeah. I would recommend everyone who's serious about doing board ground to get this gun. It bypasses their shields. And uh, you don't have to remodulate it. Otherwise, they will adapt to your weapons. You'll have to bring a remodulator along. Or you have to have the Omega's Mako set gear, which lets you auto remodulate. Alright guys, as you can see there's a shield up here, you have to kill a certain number of these Borg before the shield will come down. If you've been killing the groups that we've been killing on the way, you should only have to kill this group at the door before it opens. And there we go. We're all gonna get a cut of this movie when it goes to the blockbusters, right? Yeah, it's a blockbuster. <laughs> uh, actually, blockbuster went out of business. Oh yeah, that's true. Derpy derp. Netflix then. Yep, it's a straight to DVD release.
All right. In this room, you need to clear it out before you start shutting down these generators. Again, try to do this as quick as possible. I have seen teams that will run in here and um, just like run past all the Borg and shut down the generators. But I, I don't need know. Crack a leaf team to do yeah, that. it's really hard to do, and this would probably be easier. But anyway, you need to clear this room of all Borg as quickly as possible, because remember, you are on a 15-minute timer. We're making good time, though. We've only got the 10-minute mark. If everyone brought the TR-16 rifles, it shouldn't be a problem. Second level's clear. Alright, I'm gonna show them where you need to go in while you guys are clearing that last group. Well, Robbie, you might as well head up there a while then. It'll be done pretty soon. Alright, so one of you will have to enter, activate this Borg device here, into the room, and, um, and deactivate the shields on these. Enemy detected near node beta 2. Near the, on these nodes. Hold on. Do you right. want to say right. which B and A on which side and how the levels work and what yeah. yeah. So all the beta nodes are on the right side. All the alpha nodes are on the left side. Y you'll notice that once we walk up to them, it'll say, you know, enemy detected at node beta 3. That'll let the guy in the room know where exactly we're at and which one to deactivate. Okay, so go ahead, Robbie, deactivate it. You pop your tactile and shoot a blood. Alright, go for it. Once the shield goes down, you're gonna have to DPS this really fast and blow it up as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm trying to do this. It's not working. Okay, ready? Ready. Ready. Go. And as you can see, engineers are really, really useful at taking that shield down really <laughs> quick. Or the, the, the node down really quick. What, uh, once the shield comes down, Borg drones beam in. Ignore them. Just focus on, on the node. Blow it up. Run to the next one. Remember, you're on a timer. Yeah, I didn't even get a shot in that. <laughs> okay, so you want to run up here and then run to the right. Uh, that was the left. Is it the left? <laughs> Make an L with your hands. No, no, because we're facing. Because remember, all the all the beta ones are on the right hand side. The damn compass when you need one. So 
so you just start with beta and keep going with the beta ones all the way up to the top. Alright, go for it, Ronnie. Are you going to take down the oh, yeah. IMRs then, Madeir? Yeah, I'll, t I'll take it down. Ready on D1. Uh, I'm going with four. Give me one second. Wow, uh, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's just too much fun. <laughs> These mines are so overpowered. Yeah, chroniton mines and neutronic bombs will make short work of these nodes. So, if you have an engineer, make sure he's not in the room. Make sure he's out here with you guys. Alright, so once the last one is down, you need to run up here and activate this console. Boom. And then just jump down and exit the room, ignore all the Borg that spawned. The person that was in the room, which I'm going to show separately, um, he will need to run out here and activate this control panel right here. Oh, wait, you didn't activate this one? Oh, I was waiting for you to show. Oh, okay. I'm just going to show him where it was at. Once these two IMR things blow the, this thing right here, then the shield at the end of this hallway will come down. Alright, so to go in the room you need to activate this Borg device here and it will beam you directly into the control room. Now you need to you need to pay attention to the overhead voice telling you which node the uh, your team is at or they can tell you in team chat if you don't have your sound on. What are we at, B3 guys? Yep. Yep. So then you just hit the number three and beta. Shield power diverted from power node beta three. And when you do that, org drones will beam in. If you don't have a high DPS team, you need to run over to this, and there'll be a pop up here that says extend shield. What? Well, yeah, extend power transfer. It'll keep the shields on the nodes down longer so your team can get them down. Let me know when you're ready for the next one, guys. We're ready. You're ready? Okay. So the next one will be Alpha 3. Shield power diverted from power node Alpha 3. Make sure you keep the room clear of these boar guys. Um, they're not dangerous. They're not really all that tough either. Although, if they get close to you, they can assimilate you. Which will fuck things up because there's no one in here to kill you. They don't adapt either. You guys ready to beta 2? Two and beta.
I placated them and they started beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Beta 1? Yeah. What did you use your quantum shard? Yeah. That easy, guys. No, the, the four drones don't beam in at the last one in Alpha One. Okay, so once that's done, you need to examine the console, beam out. And the person in the, it's usually the person in the control room's job to trigger that console up there, but Robbie beat me to it. Go ahead and activate it, Robbie. And there you go, guys. That's the control room. That was perfectly synchronized, hello. Alright. Walking into this room will trip the boss. This is real easy. Just tank him and spank him. Back to the edge of the room tougher. Yeah. Kind of bad. No one of those guys has a scowl on his face. <laughs> so all you have to do is, is ki kill the boss. He's super easy. Take care of the drones and shit on either side of him. And bam, you got your reward. And you can depart system. After you pick up all the loot. Oh, sweet. See, so yeah, I go ahead and depart system. Give that beam there to me. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later.